hello and welcome back so this is a brand new uh, training sessions for VM Horizon 8 so you are able to see my background uh, background as VM Horizon so I will be working on creating multiple videos uh, like uh, introduction to VM Horizon uh, after that uh, like um, uh, we will be doing each, uh, each video for each component and uh, finally like uh, we'll show a demonstration of uh, what exactly like how to access the uh, VM Horizon VDI how to access the application using the VDI everything we'll be doing one by one so in this video like uh, I will be uh, basically giving the overview of VM Horizon uh, what is the history of Horizon, uh, VM Horizon, what is the version and uh, what are the requirements for the for our lab so how to download a VM Horizon from VMware site I will be explaining all of those so let's start like so what is uh, Horizon, VM Horizon so okay VM Horizon uh, like it was called as uh, VMware view before like uh, if you see the old uh, versions so it, it used to call as a uh, horizon view so so if you see that it's uh, the first version is in uh, 2009 so it was started as a 4x then uh, then it was it was renamed as horizon view in uh, 6.1 so now it is horizon horizon uh, like uh, we have a couple of versions but uh, the last version was 7.13 VM, uh, uh, VM Horizon 7 7.13 and uh, recently they launched Horizon 8 first version is 2006 and uh, the latest one is uh, VM Horizon 8 2012 which is released on uh, on gen uh, like 1st of uh, July 21 uh, sorry uh <coughs> yeah January 7th 21 so and build number is uh, 8.1.0.1735127 so this is a uh, like a little bit over here about the history and uh, versions so actually what is uh, uh, getting started with the horizon 8 uh, like horizon is a like a modern platform for secure delivery of uh, like virtual desktops and apps across the hybrid cloud you can deploy windows and linux boxes uh, using the horizon from either on premises or from other clouds such as uh, uh, vmware cloud and aws azure vmware solutions that is avs and uh, google cloud uh, virtual solution that is gcve so uh, like uh, 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 VM Horizon is one of the VDA products that enables uh, IT departments to run virtual machines, desktops and applications in the data center and uh, remotely deliver these desktops and applications to employees as a managed services. So uh, like if you see in our pandemic situation, it's not our pandemic but pandemic situation like uh, offices are completely shut down entire the world. So how the business is going to run if entire enter officer shut down how the employees are going to work that is a challenging thing for uh, entire world so at that time uh, like uh, uh, vm horizon and even vm uh, like uh, citrix and app they took a major role uh, because uh, using a horizon uh, like even even employees can uh, simply installing the vm horizon client on their desktops or laptop personal laptops they can directly connect to uh, to the uh, vm horizon uh, uh, vdi virtual desktop interface and uh, they can directly work uh, they directly work uh, connect to their uh, their office environment or the production environment and uh, they worked it was it was doing it was going like that now also it's still it's 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 work it's doing like that it's going like that so though it was challenging but these these uh, products really make the life easy for the uh, to go the business without any impact so it is one of the major advantage like uh, using the uh, using the VDI as uh, the uh, RDS applications uh, like uh, 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 things that uh, didn't uh, didn't broke simply they went as usual 
so yeah uh, the like this advantage we f we got with uh, uh, VDIs so this is something uh, computer within a computer strategy enables multiple VMs to be running per physical course physical server course so for administrators uh, like uh, desktop and for administrators desktop and application management can be simplified and automated using horizon admins can quickly create a virtual disk on uh, demand on location and profile and uh, securely deliver desktops as a service from a central location so even end users can access their personalized virtual desktops or remote applications from company laptops and their uh, home pcs uh, thin client devices uh, macs tablets or or smartphones so so horizon integrates with uh, vmware workspace one on a common identity main fr uh, framework to provide a single uh, catalog for uh, accessing windows applications and desktops as well as a software as a service web cloud and uh, new to mobile applications so i have created a small powerpoint presentation so we'll go for it so this is the logical architecture of a uh, architecture diagram for vm horizon so you are able to see like uh, horizon clients that is the desktop mobile tab laptop and uh, here you can see the connection server is a major role is one of the component of vm horizon and vmware unified access gateway is in um, is a ovf appliance like virtual appliance uh, which is used to connect the uh, connect the end users for the internet to the to the the vdi environment so and uh, this is the application pool where whenever a user log into his uh, vdi client uh, whatever the provisioned applications uh, he can be s he whenever he log in he can see the icons on in the in his console and whenever he clicks the a particular required application uh, it will pop up and it starts working so here you have a user environment manager profiles so we'll be discussing one by one in the the in the next uh, like upcoming uh, uh, like a powerpoint presentation so here you are able to see vmware instant clone technology uh, which is used as backend to we create the create the pdi machines and uh, these are forms this is desktop form and this is a rdsh form for this is for applications and this is for desktops so horizon agent will be deployed on uh, on the requests like on the servers where we are going to uh, like uh, deploy the rds forms as well as uh, uh, de uh, deploying the pools and um, uh, this is the app stack uh, so app stack is an uh, like uh, it was managed by app ma app uh, volume manager so what it will do is like uh, without integrating the uh, like installing the ap applications or softwares on the desktop directly it will create a uh, uh, like a a disk like a, a vmdk and uh, uh, whenever a user logins the application will be available on the desktop and uh, whenever he logs off automatically it will be removed so it makes uh, the disk size thin which which is very much uh, advantage so all the below like you are able to see vSphere uh, which is the uh, like our vCenter uh, which will be working as core component so if you go to next v next powerpoint slide here it is the like a uh, actual diagram where you are able to see like all machines connected to this vm horizon uh, so one thing is so this is a uh, view composer like uh, this is deprecated in uh, uh, horizon 8 no more we cannot find the installer also so still we have a uh, uh, view connection server which is the uh, is the core core component so app volumes this is the profiles where uh, whenever user login a profile will be created in a shared folder where you give the access so and this is the app stack or op app volumes so this one is like uh, uh, 
the core components like as I told uh, vCenter is required in, uh, below that uh, multiple ESXi boxes are required and uh, for uh, uh, events and logs for uh, for the horizon we need a database server uh, or a database instance is required where uh, while installation will be configuring the database so using that we can see who logged in who logged out or just a inventory what are the issues uh, if you authentication is error is happening for a user we can see there and we can troubleshoot uh, so we need an active directory server uh, uh, which will be like uh, uh, serving the uh, like serving for users to log in create users everything so this horizon with the uh, site redundancy this is a powerpoint slide where you are able to see uh, two sites one is redundant site and one is uh, primary site primary site goes down uh, using the load balancer uh, the users will be routed to the secondary site and when it comes back automatically it will roll back so and here is the version details so we already discussed on this so we are now we are be working on horizon 8 2012 uh, so horizon 7 and even horizon 8 so have three editions on-prem three editions that is horizon standard horizon advanced and horizon enterprise so uh, the description itself says that what are the purposes of these three editions so uh, to more to know more about these uh, you can just simply check the vmware site uh, for pricing and uh, licensing so next is like the components which will be in general will be using for horizon uh, environment like app volumes composer connection server uh, composer is deprecated but when you migrate from uh, 7.13 to 8 uh, uh, like at that time it, uh, now we need this but uh, it's uh, so after that after 8 uh, migration this will be removed so in, uh, so dynamic environment manager horizon agent il, like as i said it will be deployed on uh, on the on the serving servers where it will connect between the uh, connection server and uh, and the server which uh, which is like serving like rds server like agent will be doing a primary role horizon client uh, like it will be deployed on all all the end user desktops laptops where using the horizon client uh, agent user will be connecting to the our environment so persona and thin app vcenter v release operation manager vsan these are all we we discussed in a previous video so i am not going to explain about this and uh, requirements like uh, like a uh, uh, connection server minimum requirement is 2016 uh, even you can use 2012, 2008, but uh, I recommend to go for 2016 and even go you can use 2019 server with 4 CPUs and 12 GB of RAM and we don't require any database. So this is a VMware Unified Access Gateway is an appliance. So it require minimum 2 CPU and 4 GB of memory. In even we don't require any database. And Compose server is uh, anyhow, it's it's gone, deprecated in horizon 8 so we don't require this but uh, we require SQL database for uh, for our event views and logs uh, in the horizon so this uh, so so we need a server for this uh, SQL server for this and uh, all the below like we need ESXi and uh, vCenter servers in the it's like here as it's mentioned so 6.5 so I'm using 7 for my environment so this is what like uh, the basic overview of our uh, VM horizon so in our next video we will be discussing about uh, what is compose server uh, and a uh, few our components and we'll, yeah, we'll and we will start our lab so, so thanks for watching and uh, any suggestions are any queries please reach out to vstudentblog at the rate gmail.com thank you